Hi, kindergartners. I loved our live today. I love learning about the butterfly life cycle together. I think you're going to love it too. We learned a lot today and we're going to learn even more in this book called A Butterfly's Life. Now, this is a non-fiction book, which you know means not fake. It means real. So we're getting our brain ready to learn facts about a butterfly. Everything we read in this book will be true. Okay, let's see if you learn anything new or if you hear any of our old learning that we learned today in our life cycle chart. A butterfly's life. A butterfly's life has four stages. You can read them about, about them on these pages. We learned about those stages, didn't we? Butterfly lays an egg and it becomes the caterpillar. We call that the larva stage. And this is the pupa stage and it keeps on going. This butterfly egg is white and shiny. As you can see, it is very tiny. Caterpillars hatch from these eggs. Each caterpillar has many legs. Well, those are some very up close pictures. That's amazing. The caterpillar eats its own egg shell. The shell feeds the caterpillar very well. I did not know that. It's always eaten, huh? The caterpillar munches and munches. It eats leaves by the bunches. The caterpillar skin grows much too tight, so it sheds the skin for one that fits just right. You see how its skin is coming off right here? We saw that in our caterpillar jar today, didn't we? Just chunks of the skin hang in there. The shredding goes on for two weeks or so. The caterpillar starts to change and grow. What do we know about this shape, you guys? What do we call it? It's the J shape, you're right. That's a signal that we know something's coming. The caterpillar crawls to a special place. There it makes a chrysalis, a kind of case. This is the chrysalis starting to form and this is the pupa stage, right? There's the caterpillar, it's getting that hard casing we talked about today. It stays inside the case about 14 days. The caterpillar changes in many ways. Now the caterpillar can't crawl on things. It's very busy growing insect wings. See how you can kind of see through that now? Then the chrysalis starts to split. A beautiful butterfly climbs out of it. See that? Hopefully we'll get to catch that on a live or a video. First, the butterfly's wings need to dry. Then the butterfly begins to fly. So when we see it come out of um, its pupa, its chrysalis, you're going to see like a red kind of liquid coming out and the wings pump up and down to dry off and they get stronger and then they can fly. The butterfly lands on flowers that smell sweet. The food inside is for the butterfly to eat. Lauren taught us about that today. Thanks, Lauren. Some butterflies live for only a while. Others take a long trip mile after mile. The butterfly lays eggs one by one. Now new butterfly lives have begun. Yeah, it goes right back to that cycle, doesn't it? Very nice. It was fun to learn again with you today. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.